preamble, really, because it's the first time I've been a father of a, you know, the first time I want my daughters to marry. I've got another one, so maybe I can have another chance. This is the practice, eh? So I've headed this speech for Jane and Chris. This is my little preamble. Chris and Jane, or Jane and Chris, live in a busy enough house where they are bringing up three children, and you will always find a welcome when you go there. They're about 12 years together already, and now they decide to get married. When things are already working out quite well enough, wonders will never cease. I think nowadays, however, the weddings, the weddings don't always come first, do they? Perhaps as they grow a little older, folk begin to realise there's a little bit more in life than at first meets the eye. But let's not uh, dwell on these strange questions too much, but concentrate on the many positives of this happy occasion. It was a nice surprise when we heard that Jane and Chris's wedding ceremony was to be not in the Bahamas, but back in the UK. I think they talked about Bahamas. <laughs> we said, we can't go to the Bahamas, look at the cost of the airfare. <laughs> when I was a youngster, I went to the primary school. It's just a stone's throw away from the church. You probably saw it, the people came to the service. Beautiful service. And it was the little school there where I went to. It wasn't all a happy time. I got bullied there, wasn't it? You see, Broadhead is a funny old name, isn't it? <laughs> as broad as my head was, I didn't like being called Broad Bonks and things like that. <laughs> and I remember my best friend, the little bully boy, he went up a tree as we were walking home one day, and he fell right from the top of the tree on his bottom. And um, I'm afraid I was a little bit pleased about that. <laughs> the only problem was he got up and he walked away. <laughs> he was limping a bit, I've got to agree. But I thought, well, you know, that was it. But then, later on, we got to be good friends. It was amazing, really, yeah. Now, where have I got on my speech? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, and also, of course, I've got my mum and dad both resting in the church yard. This is amazing, really. And how did they manage, this is Chris and Jay, to persuade the church to allow them to be married there? when they didn't live near to the church. Because, you know, you're supposed to live in the parish of the church to get married there. Maybe if they were paying for the service, might be something a little, a little unkind, but it, it's also true, I think. But rules say they've got to attend a number of services. So um, they could say they've been in the parish and sort of been around the parish. And in fact, they drove all the way out to Ripon and on to Shera to join in the services. <coughs> It was about ten times, wasn't it? More than that. More than ten times. Yeah, but about the same Twelve times. Yeah, but about the same time. Twelve times. So, so they, earned, they earned the privilege, didn't yeah, they? And, what, and for those who came to the service, what a lovely man. Another Chris who married him <laughs> was that the chapel the chapel tied the knot for them. Really nice chap. Made it very friendly there with him. Um, now, let me just say this seriously now. I think, I think they had to work on it. I think, I think they had to work on it. Um, um, and it's something I've got to say about Jane and Chris. It's not been easy for them bringing up three children. They've been working at this for about 12 years now. So that's interesting, isn't it? In the service today, the children helped. And we saw just how well they were growing up. There was Archie, who brought out the ring. There was Harvey. Things go wrong and then on the best organised things. And it was very well organised. It was a very lovely, friendly service. I was very pleased with it. And so it seems to me, now, how do you want, do you want 70, have we got a bet on this? 
Somebody said 17 minutes. It's going to be about five minutes maximum. Gosh. You'll speak. Uh, shall I expand it a bit more, Errol? Shall I expand it? I'm afraid I can't because I don't want to bore everybody. But no, it was a great thing. And uh, my wife and I. Oh! Um, <laughs> I think everybody's helped to make this, this thing work. Just as Chris and Jane have worked very hard, we've also backed them up a little bit from time to time. And, um, and you know, we, we, we've been trying a long time to get them going, and they've done very well indeed. And we have Anne waiting to be married. And then, can, I, can, I, can I make another speech? I can make another speech. It would be really great. I hope everybody is. Um, After all this hard work, it seems to me they're uh, very well qualified to be married together. Very well indeed. And so, now I ask you to raise your glasses, toast the newly married couple. Here's to Mr. and Mrs. Henry.